Hello, I am Blizzard KB, and this is a video of some new puzzles that just came out from efforts called the Morphig. There are four different color variations. There's white, there's red, and there's the two in the center. This one is purple at the top, yellow in the center, and green at the bottom. This one is burgundy at the top, yellow along the side, and then blue at the bottom. In person, these two colors are pretty close together. But I'm glad they're showing up as a little more different on camera. Now these puzzles are based on a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube and so that's what's that's what's on the inside of these so if you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube plus you know, you learn some algorithm to rotate the centers of the uh, center of this puzzle then you'd be able to solve this piece as well there's some sort of parity error that happens that may happen to you during the solve of this so that may be something that you have to figure out as well but in general, if you know how to solve a 3x3, three three, then you'll be able to figure out how to solve for this puzzle as well. Now let me do a quick size comparison. There's a, sim a similarly shaped puzzle that got released from efforts a couple of months ago called Tony Fisher's Golden Egg. And this is one of them. Now, as you can see, the Tony Fisher's Golden Egg is a lot bigger. It's, it's almost twice as big as the Morph Egg. And also, the Tony Fisher's Golden Egg has a different, a different mechanism inside. It's based off of a puzzle called Skube, and so it moves differently than this puzzle over here does. I'll put this in the back. Also, there's another puzzle that got re released recently from Efforts called the Master Pyromorphinx. Let me do a size comparison of that one as well. As you can see, they're about the same size. So you can see this says Mefferts Challenge on the front. Now I have to say something about these colors. I think these are the, some of the most curious color changes or color choices that I've seen on a puzzle in quite some time. I am not clear why he chose these types of colors and then put them together. It looks a bit strange to me. I don't think I would pick these colors if I had the choice, but it doesn't affect the quality of the puzzle. It turns really well. Let's see if I can get some shapes on here. I'm not going to mix it up too much because I may have a problem getting it back together again. But as you can see, it starts to get a bit strange. And the more you mix it up, the stranger it will get. Now let's see if I can get this back together again. I don't know. How did I, how did I, how'd this go? Okay. And put that over here. Okay, great. Master Solver strikes again. I solved it. <laughs> Not really. Let me put this master pair morphings in the back as well as for a size comparison. Can show this. They all move about the same. I just want to show the color variations on these. I've made a couple of com I made a couple of comparison videos in the past where I mentioned that uh, the the black version of the puzzle usually turns worse than the white version of the puzzle. But in this case, on this puzzle, they all turn equally well. This is a really interesting puzzle, and if you, if you know how to solve a 3x3, three three, then I, it would be a good idea to check this puzzle out as well, because it'll give you some additional challenges while starting off with something a little more familiar.
Oh yeah, the final note. You're not going to be able to see it, but on this piece, on each of the puzzles, there is an inscription on it. You, again, I seriously doubt you're going to be able to see the actual writing. You may be able to see that there is some writing there, but I'll just read it out to you. It says, Mefford's Challenge, designed by Adam G. Cohen, C-O-W-A-N. So congratulations, Adam. This is a really nice puzzle. And congratulations for getting it published. Again, I am Blizzard KB, and these four puzzles on the front, these are puzzles called the Morph Egg.